Bless my soul and all that it was in me. Bless his holy name. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We're going to go into part two of healthy living. I don't know if you saw the first show, but we are going to go in. We're talking about eating the right things, taking care of this temple that God gave us because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And, you know, but we have a responsibility of, of good stewards over our own body. Amen. You know, and the, the scripture that we read on the first show was, Beloved, I pray that you prosper in all things and, and be in health just as your, your soul, soul prospers. prospers. That's yes. Third John and 2. So God really cares about us prospering in our health, our soul. I mean, our spirit is important, very important to God. But he's also our soul and our health is so important to him. I mean, Very his, as children of the Most High God, it's it's. I mean, he wants only the best for us, and he gives us all kinds of keys, all kinds of wisdom in his word, and he sends all kinds of people our way with with uh, the right, you know, the tools and the right advice. Absolutely. And, and the things that we can, so we can live a healthy and prosperous life. You know, and uh, that's been our goal, me and my wife's goal for some quite some time. And uh, we are working it daily. Amen. It's a daily walk. It is. Sometimes it's a challenge because you know when you when you go to the store, you it's very challenging sometimes to get stuff, the right stuff, without getting you know because there's a lot of stuff out there that we can eat but we shouldn't really eat and there, and there seems to be more stuff that we shouldn't eat than there is stuff that we should so that it can be the that challenge <laughs> yes that can be the challenge and then, then exercise exercise sometimes can be challenging because some days are very you know we just can be we just art. know it's worth it and the yes. more we we um, chip away at it and we don't give up and we continue yeah, no matter there you go. anything can happen and life happens but if you just lean on the lord who's waiting for you to make those good decisions he will pull you through he's your rock he's like, your he's your fortress your strength yeah like she said the more you chip away with that the better you you know and don't be discouraged you know right. don't don't i know that some people may exercise their God and we, it, we're not talking about that we, like I said in the last show seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things yes. I mean we got to you know we seek the Lord for it and we, we got to remember we got to have proper relationship with him we got to be doing the right things with him we got we got to study the word and we got to we got to have a relationship with God and we want to keep that focus and we want to you know put in God first Lordship, always prayer. yeah I mean we uh but we do want to do the right things with our body we want to do we want to exercise we yes. want to eat right so it's just very important and i have another scripture here that i want to read and uh so it is psalms 139 14. i will praise you for i am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are your works Amen. you know God don't make junk. No, he does not. He made us to where, you know, we're, I mean, if you just study the body and study what goes on inside our bodies on, the, on a, on a, I mean, every second, it's like, it's just so amazing how our body works. But you know what? If we That's don't, wonderfully made yeah, the, but the thing with our bodies, if we don't take care of it, Absolutely. And we do not, because we know God's made us stewards over our body. So it is important that we take care Absolutely. of this body because Bible. it's just like a car. If we don't take care of our car, we don't change the oil, we don't mm -hmm. put the gas in it, we don't keep it clean, it is going to basically leave us on the side of the road. And we don't want our bodies leaving us on the side of the no road way. because, you know, it's just not, yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, you know, I will tell you that some of the things that me and my wife do is we exercise our, on a daily basis. We try to. We do take the weekends off, so Monday through Friday. 
And we used to, with our jobs, we had the benefit of, of, of a free gym and a, and a program. We had a trainer and we'd go there and we'd work out for an hour and everything was structured. But during the pandemic mm -hmm. and everything that's going on, now we've been having to do it at home. So it's been a little more challenging, but you know, you can do this at home. You don't have to spend a lot of money on weights. You don't have to spend a lot of money on anything. A lot of stuff that we do is basically using our own bodies and 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 taking the body that God gave you and just doing absolutely. You know, um, Minister Robert is also speaking to the listener that might be saying, you know, you might be in the same predicament my mom was, is and and can't really do all that. Well, then. Just walking back and forth. If you can't walk, you can do arm circles. You can do leg raises. There's something you can do that can make get, you feel better about you. Get your body moving in any way Absolutely. you can. Absolutely. Do what you can do, and you'll be surprised what, you know, after and, a while. And each day you'll be doing a little more. Yeah, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. And that's, we serve a mighty God and an awesome, awesome, good, good Father. He will take it little at a time. But he does want us to at least uh, pay attention, and and because he he requires us to take care of our temple, and how do we do that? We're going to give you a, a few tips here in a little bit. Okay, well you know let's start out with the morning. Here we go. We get up in the morning, and what do we do? Well, I'll tell you what we do. So we're going to just talk about us for a little bit here. Please. So we go out to the kitchen, and we have us what you call a breakfast made in a blender. And it, you know what, and we've been doing this now for, what, going on four or five? It's been about six years. Six now. years. And so you get your blender out. We put, okay, here's just some of the stuff that we do. We take kale, we take spinach, Amen. we take bok choy, flaxseed, Anything that'll seed. fit. <laughs> Ginger, uh, apple cider vinegar, yes. collagen powder, uh, turmeric, uh, we carrots. Um, what else? Healthy berries. Not in oh the yeah, we took a berry blend, which is strawberries, blueberries, and, and I think it's raspberries. Raspberries. Mm -hmm. it comes a little frozen package. We put that in there, and. Mm, oh, lately we've been putting in collard greens because the dark, the greens, those are that's the good stuff, the right greener, there. The greener, the better, the more colorful. So the better. we blend that up. Well, you know, we used to juice a while, a long time ago, but juicing got to be messy and expensive because you you do you take all this product and you juice it and it comes down and you get a little bit of product with a whole lot of mess. And so, but we've gone to blending and blending. You drink the whole thing, the fiber, you get it all. And that's what we've been doing. That's how yeah. we start our day out. And you know what? That is so helpful and so healthy and Absolutely. beneficial to you. It's it the best breakfast you can do. The other thing we do in the morning is we've got into taking supplements for our gut, for our intestines. Yeah. To keep them probiotics. healthy. Yeah, probiotics. And then we take a, a what they call a gut restorer where it restores the lining of your intestines. We take that to keep our intestinal tract in, in good shape, mm -hmm. clean, healthy, because you know that's where all your, I mean, they say that this is the very most important thing, because this is what feeds your body. So if it's out of whack and you got all kinds of wrong things uh, leaking out of your, your intestines into your blood system, it's causing all kinds of problems. So you want to keep them intestines good. So we take a supplement that helps with our intestines. We take uh, probiotics. Absolutely. We take zinc and we take magnesium. We take uh, uh, our vitamin C. And we take our vitamin D3. And we take our fish oil. And, you know, it's just so important that, you know, and taking the right supplements, the right, because there's a lot of stuff out there and some stuff is really, you got to be careful in what you buy because some stuff is not as good as others. So you mm -hmm. do the research and you'll find out. But 
just by taking care of your body and feeding it Absolutely. those things to keep your immune system up. Our immune system, uh, they say that the gut is like 80% of your immune system. There you go. So if you keep that in order, then you know what, you're gonna uh, yeah. help with a lot of issues. And, 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 and you know, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He's the one that I look to for everything. I, oh, I give him glory for everything. Everything yes. meaning that the, the strength to get up and, and make that shake. Some days I don't feel like it. Some days I do not. That's being real. Um, but I know I feel better when I'm out there taking care of what's important. And he says that's number one is take care of your temples. The next thing we do is we pray. Actually, we pray yes. um, when we wake up. And as the prayers, as, as we're praying, I'm in the background um, preparing the shake. You can do both at the same time. It's just uh, we both work, so we uh, have to do it in a timely manner. Yes, and then the, okay, so we, we did the, sh the shake, we blend it. We take our pills, and guess what else we do first thing in the morning? After we do all, or at the same I don't time know, we tell do me all. Robert, Robert. Oh well, I think it's what called communion. So we do communion yes, with the we Lord. Do. We take the time to remember what He has done for us. Amen. It was His body that was broken for us Amen. for the healing of our body, and Amen. we and we do the take the cup and we remember the blood that was shed. That blood, that powerful blood of Jesus that's brought us back, that restored us, that forgiven our sins, Amen. that restored us back to our rightful place in the Father. And that same blood that protects our household Amen. and all that concerns us, we take the time to do that. So, you know, and that is our bread. regimen first thing in the morning. We, take, we do that actually first, and then we do our shake, because I feel like that should come first. You don't have to get lost in religion about it. But just, he's done so much for us. And I want, and I know there's power in it. And my husband knows there's power in it because it's changed our life. We've been doing that, um, that, that way for the last, I want to say, four years now. And it has been so rewarding because it's taken it back. I mean, you can do anything in re religious form, so don't get lost in religion. Don't make it religious. If you run out of grape juice, then do it with water. But you're going before the Lord. You're recognizing what He did. Just, you're declaring yeah. the word over your life. You're, just, you're remembering that you're healed by the broken um, bread. His body was broken for us. And I, my, I always say one part, my husband says the other. And it's so powerful. So I would encourage you today, if you, if you don't have communion and and you're not taking it daily, you know, find a regimen that works for you, but really it will change your life. I have not, I've been blessed not to get sickness and disease, and I know why. Because I go to the Lord with my husband and we, and our daughter, and we take communion faithfully, recognizing that all of that has already been taken care of through the cross of, of Calvary. And you know, and we also gotta watch what we confess. My gosh, that's We huge. gotta watch how we speak. You know, yes. there's all kinds of things going around and, and you know and No, that's huge. But it's not our portion. We got you gotta you got to declare the word. Yeah, you can't you can't just accept the fact just because the world's getting sick or uh, people are getting sick that that's gonna be my portion. No, no. that's not my portion. No, I'm no. not all i I don't God is uh Jesus has gone and to the cross. Well, he's taken upon his body, so I don't have to take it upon my That's body. So, you know right. what? We got to confess the word. We got to confess and we got to watch how we decree. speak. We decree that we are healed. We are the healed of the Lord. And we walk Guarding in Guarding our health. That's right. And that blood covers us. And you know what? We walk in, and we, we have a shield about us that Amen. protects us from that. And uh, so... We walk that out. Another thing that we do is we watch what we eat. We cut out, you know what, soda. Me too. We don't yeah. do soda. Yeah. I'll tell you what we do do. We drink a drink that's a carbonated drink that's just got basically essential oil, no water, I mean, no uh, 
no sugar, no salt. It's just basically carbonated water, and no that's what sugar. we do as a substitute. But it's a healthy substitute. It doesn't have it doesn't have the effects on your body, the devastating effects like soda and stuff. So we can still get a little bubbly in our in our <laughs> in our. In, you know, in our and, bellies without getting yeah, the sugar so in our blood. And in, there you go. You, I don't know. There's just a lot of healthy yeah. alternatives out there, and you, you got to take the time to find them. Absolutely. We we choose when we go to the store. We choose the kind of meat that we eat, and uh, we be very careful that we buy the right stuff that doesn't have all the hormones. All the grass the, fed. Yeah, mm -hmm. all, all the hormones and all the antibiotics have been pumped into it. You know, you just take the time to do that. We take well, the... if we lived on a farm, we'd have everything at our beck and call. Oh, yes, if you live on a farm, man, you got it made. Yeah. <laughs> You've got it going on if you live in Africa or the Philippines and all the way around the world, and you can pull things out of the ocean. But we live in California, so we depend on the grocery store. So we have to be very... That takes it to another level. Yeah. We have to be very mindful and resourceful and prayerful about our food choices and then yes. pre preparation of those food choices. Eating the right, because fat is healthy if it's the right kind of fat. We got to have fat in our, in our bodies. So we got the omega-3 oils. We got we to gotta get away from the bad fats. We got to yes. only go with the good ones, you know, by eating Absolutely. the right fish the olive oils, getting away from the corn oils, and the, there's just some Vegetable things, that, and what we have, we have found, there are just some things that we really shouldn't put in your body, because they're, they're really doing, destroying, they're going in and raising havoc inside you, and right. a couple of things that we've learned, and uh, you know, this is, this is what we do, Bring and corn and soy, is something we don't touch because we found that it's not good, it's not healthy for you, it does Absolutely. more damage than it does good. Right. There's just things out there like that, that that we shouldn't be eating. There's a lot of food, a lot of farm-raised food that it has a lot of hormones and antibiotics in it. And I, we have discovered that it's, you know, the old saying that you are, you are what you eat, well, Believe me, it's more than that. It is you are what you eat eats. So we have to be very careful about the meat that we you eat and how eat it's eats. been raised and what it's been fed because yes. if it was fed wrong or raised wrong, Absolutely. then when you eat it, you're going to get all that stuff inside of you. Yes. So it's just so important that we take the time out to just just be conscious of what we're eating. and and. Uh, I tell you, the benefits in this are, are outweigh. I mean, it's like it may be a struggle finding some of the stuff, it and, is and a, a challenge, but it's worth it. Yeah, and sometimes you may find some of the stuff to be a little more costly, and uh, but getting not if you live on the farm. Yeah, <laughs> but getting sick is very expensive. Yes. Yeah, so what I want to bring to you today is. Um, and it came out of um, Dr. Living Good's book, but it's so, so good and so profound and goes so well with what we're bringing to you today that we're going to give you uh, six challenges to start with. How do you challenge yourself? Where do you get started? So if you have a pen and paper, write these down. Every day, number one, every day write down your goal as if it is already achieved. Very good. Train your brain that the goal is as good as done. Awesome. Every day write, oh, number two. Every day write down everything you are thankful for. See, look at God. Misery is learned, depression is learned, anxiety is learned. And gratitude is an antidote but it must be learned. Gratitude is like a muscle. It has, it has to be strengthened to be powerful. You cannot be stressed and grateful at the same time. Amen. I have two more. Number three, every day keep track of your feedback system. Your body is talking to you. Are you listening? You are 
I mean, you will be shocked at what you learn by charting how you feel sleep and, um, and how your sleep quantity, your stress levels and energy levels each day. Number four, then all you have to do with the information is think about why do I feel what, what way today and what did I do or not do yesterday that affected my results. I think that's so good. It affected my results. Oh, did I eat something poor or did I lack water? Did I stay up too late? Did I sk skip breathing or distressing ac exercises? Did I work out? Did I interact with a negative person or situation? Once you chart your health, you can finally see what works best for you to experience real health. Yeah. Oh, and I just, just came. Water. Mm -hmm. Very important. We have to drink half our body weight in water. Very good. Every yeah. day. Yes. Water is so important. And take the time out to drink water that's, yeah, anyway, some people recommend you test your water because you know there is some water out there that's got this, uh, not, not the right, that may be not healthy, but take the time to drink good, clean drinking water and Pure drink water. a lot Purified. of water. Yes. Water is good for you. Mm -hmm. Water is the best thing, you know, and sleep. That's the other mm -hmm. thing. Proper sleep. We got to get enough sleep. You cannot yeah. run. This body can, because when we sleep, our body regenerates. And Absolutely. if we don't get enough sleep, it's not had enough time to regenerate properly like it should. So sleep is important sleep and water is important. is important, as well as eating is important, the right things, and as well as exercise. And, as, and then on top of that, the very first thing, because, you know, it would be a pyramid, Right on top of all that is seek ye first the kingdom of God. Always. So we have to put God first in everything, everything that we do. Everything first in him. Amen. So if we take the time to put him first and we take the time to do and listen to wisdom, yes. we can walk this thing out and we can live the healthy life that God has died for us. We can walk this healthy lifestyle. We can walk out the promises of God. And we can be good witnesses Amen. to the goodness of God. Because you know what? As ambassadors, we are not very good ambassadors if we're walking around sick. You know, you know what I always picture is God, God has called us to be his army. He don't need soldiers that can't be strong. He needs us to, to gird up with his word, worship him like never before, strengthen ourselves through the power of prayer. And yes. that is, the that is in a nutshell, is how you can do well with all these things we've given you today. Yes. Amen to that. You know, it, it, we're running out of time. Let me pray for you. And, you know, my wife's going to take the time out here at the very end here to pray. Mm -hmm. Because you know prayer is important, and we hope that you benefited from the show, yes. and there's something in there that you can grab. Amen. And you know we always pray that God, you know the goodness of God and God's blessing are upon your life. So. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I just lift up yes, all Lord. the listeners today, my brothers and sisters all over the world. Father God, I thank you that you are our strength yes, when we are weak you are you are strong i'm asking that you touch each and every person that's viewing this program today i ask that you touch them to the very core of their heart father yes. that they see that with god all things are possible but through their own flesh it can never be possible mm -hmm. you didn't create us to do it alone but you created us to do it with you by our side the yes. author and finisher of our faith the creator of all and we ask right now, Father God, that, that as they get excited about taking care of themselves, that I just come against the spirit of depression. I come against the spirit of bad thoughts. I come against a, a, a mouth, our mouths that want to 
speak things that aren't of you, Father, that we would speak right things and that we'd speak your word over our life. And we, we just call it done. And I cover these people with the blood of Jesus. And we say thank you, thank Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank amen. you, Lord, in Jesus' name. So thank you for joining us. Hopefully you've got something out of this. We, we're here to bring keys and, and hope and restoration to, Absolutely. you know, to um, marriage and to your life, to your relationships. And hopefully Amen. we helped you out with the show today that we put on the two. And uh, so God bless you. And until God next time, you. Jesus is Lord. <laughs>